right. Oh, now, God. let's get to what Trey was trying to get to. You know what I'm saying? Amigos. He said they smoking. What do y'all think about this, man? I hope they not Offset smoking Offset says Migos is... No, no, no. Not really smoking crack. Not really, bro. Offset says Migos is the second greatest hip-hop group of all time after Outkast. Hey. What's your thoughts on that? What? My, man, you know, come, I, I, on, come on. Migos. But number two? That don't mean you... I do too. But you, Number two? Come on, man. Look at their records. Look, oh at, them, look at their albums. Yeah. Look at their... I would say at their record sales is probably the most. Yeah, they get like, more they streams. Probably the most shit, but they don't have more. But is that your favorite? That's your second favorite rap group. I listen to the Migos. I listen to a lot of shit. You got Dog Pound. You got East Side. Dog Pound only had one album. <laughs> yeah, Dog Pound. You got East Side. East Side might be number one over. You got uh, West Side Outcast Connection. I like that. Nigga, you you got, connection. Nigga, he said all time. So this is gonna put it in perspective. Wu Tang Clan. Thank you. Run DMC. A Tribe Called Quest, N.W.A., Bone Thugs and Harmony, Beastie Boys, Public the- Enemy, Cypress Hill, De La Soul, Ghetto Boys, 3-6 Mafia, The Roots, Fugees, Mob I'm going to put the Fugees. I'm going to put the Fugees above them, nigga. The Locks. <sighs> what about Jim Jones and Cameron? <laughs> nigga, dip, dip, G-Unit. Goody G-Unit. Mob. Dipset. Two nigga. Live Crew, EPMD. Damn. MC8. Uh, UGK. Yeah. Eight Ball and MJG. Yeah, nigga. MOP. Uh, Make so many. Give me the I'm clips. To you the didn't even say ghetto boys. Big timers. Hot boys. Oh my god. Yin Yang twins. So you the think the Migos is hotter than the hot Did boys? Did you even though? say the niggas from the fast rapper niggas? Come on. Who Bolta? Bolta? Yeah, I said Bolta. Yes. <laughs> Who exactly are the hot boys? How many people are the hot boys? Who are the hot boys? Nigga, we how what? many? I'm saying, who right, are I'm they? Done. Which one? You gotta be a fucking it's Wayne. You yeah. on crack? Turf? This thing is smoking crack. Smoking crack too. This thing is on crack. Yeah, for Who's sure. Who's the hot boys, man? It's Wayne, Turk, BG, and that's it. Stop meffing with me. You're not gonna say man. juvenile. Juvenile's part of it, man. Oh, I don't oh know who's a hot boy. Come on, Juvenile was some guy. Oh my god. You tripping? How many albums the hot boys got? I'm not. I'm not gonna talk to you. How many albums did the hot boys? I'm not gonna talk music with you if you didn't know juvenile BG was in the hot boys. I just said BG. How many albums did the hot boys put out? One, okay then. I'm not no. I'm not. Okay, my just argument, that my one argument good is not. Album. I'm not putting them up there. I'm not putting Hot Boys is better than Migos. Migos. I'm not either. I'll play a Hot Boys album way more than hey, I would play any of their no, albums. Offset, offset the definitely like the Migos definitely killed it for their generation. They before. did. They Absolutely. definitely had a cold run, but Bone Thugs and Harmony had a bigger run. You ask Facts. me. Facts. But what was up? what was so cold about the Migos? It was their this beats, right? You? They beats was they was, music. was cold. The production was cold. Bone Thugs was bigger than me. Uh, that's just me. Nigga, just, like, yes. People love the Bone Thugs worldwide, though. So, like, I mean, people love Migos, but I, I don't get the same feel like Bone Thugs got. Bone yeah. Thugs. Who was the good. producer behind Migos? Wu Tang. I mean, they got a lot of producers. They got. They had a great production behind them, nigga. Like yeah. they had some they had a lot really of great production behind them. And then lyrics and they rapping wasn't what. I mean, nigga, nigga they really did. Drake. The one co-signed them. Give me the Migos with Versace, Versace, yeah. Versace. Dipset, Dipset bigger than the Migos. Somebody said Dipset bigger than the Migos. Man, what, what's y'all favorite Dipset album? Diplomatic Immunity, whatever. I wasn't a Dipset head. I wasn't a Dipset head. That shit yeah, was tight. Either. I wasn't either, but I that one that was hard. Individual, individual. I I'm like Jim, I like Jim Jones though. Joel Santana was hard too. Joel Santana was my Santana favorite was like out that, that group. He was like the swaggiest out of them niggas. Like, yeah. He was a young nigga. Him and Jones both together was like a sweat. I don't know, but Cameron. Cameron was vicious. They was all cold. Cameron yeah. was vicious. But as a group, Trey I, I and Mills was, was really the East Coast niggas. niggas. Them niggas love East Coast rappers. I didn't I didn't get them no play. Who? What you say? I said Trey and Mills. What? Yeah. That niggas stay I, 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 I love Cassidy. I love yeah. Cassidy. I love Wu Tang. I fucked with diplomats, but nigga, I'm not I wouldn't pick none of them over the East Siders. I'm yeah, gonna go on record not. saying this, bro. Wu Tang is one of the worst groups ever in the history of rap, bro. I don't believe so. I mess with you. I was about to say, I'm like, that's what's your favorite Wu Tang song? My favorite, one of my favorite right. rappers is ODB. Nigga. I said, what's your favorite Wu Tang song? <laughs> yeah, this nigga ain't got. I like, I like full the, of uh, shit. Nigga this nigga full of shit. I what's like, your favorite uh, Wu Tang song? No, hold on, cash. hold on, bud. Creed get the money. What's the name of that? What's the title? That's not there. I like the bees one. The bees one. Yeah. The bees. You talking about uh, bees from uh, <laughs> no the bees nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? No I bees. That's the, the, the killer bees. Nigga? 
Killer Bees. The Wu Tang song. Bees. Oh, that's the name of it? Yeah. Bees. Who all on it? <laughs> nigga said was, the Bees. There was, was, was like eight of them on there. <laughs> oh, okay. This nigga don't know. This nigga don't listen to Wu Tang. Oh, put in Killer Bees. Oh, my God, bro. Put in Killer Bees right nah, now. Nah, because we don't want no strike. Uh, not put it, not play it. Nigga, so but that's one of, they, one of their biggest songs. Hey, you like Wu Tang? Mm. What was your favorite Wu Tang song? Nigga. You talking to me? Yeah. Trying. That, that, that was the only song I really liked for them niggas, too. You didn't like ODB? No, I'm saying that's a group. It was a lot of them niggas. What was it, like eight of them niggas? No. Maybe more, more than, than that. Nine. It was like nine or six. Nigga, fucking but that album was hard. Raekwon, that, that nigga, was a, Ghostface Killer. Like, what's, that, double, what's your favorite Ghostface song? What's that, Double Disc? I don't have mm-hmm. a favorite Ghostface song. Yep. That Triumph was on? Yeah, Triumph was a Double Disc. <laughs> that was an Obamatomically. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Yep. yeah, I like that song. Do you know any Ghostface songs? Mm-mm. I like, I like, uh, <laughs> I like Ghostface, though. Yeah. What's but, your favorite Ghostface song? Raekwon was... I like, Tommy, you tell That shit bang. But that wasn't just him, though. That's that one? It was just him? Yeah, yeah. that was his shit. That was just, just him. him, yeah. Raekwon was probably my... Method Man and Raekwon out the group is my Method favorite, Method Man was though. hard. Method Man and Red Man was hard. Yeah, yeah, when they did that uh, collab album. With, with Rottweiler? Yeah, yeah that, that shit was, was tight. cold. That was tight. That was, that the Met the Man with Rip Mary J. Blige was one of the coldest songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Met the Man with Mary J. Blige is that's one of the coldest songs ever. That's one of the coldest songs ever. And then Met the Man on Tupac's album, I came nigga. to bring the, the pain, pain all to, to the, the brain. brain. It's going to slide my Ta-ta! ass to the plane. I came to bring the pain. The pain. Hey, that shit was cold. And verbal intercourse. Raekwon and Nas. Hey, Raekwon and Nas, nigga. <laughs> freaky Diddy song. Freaky oh. Trey. I thought that was a Diddy song. <laughs> freaky Trey. Raekwon and Nas, man. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Verbal intercourse. Um, yeah, no, no. Y'all remember Killer Bees? Who was that? Killer Priest? Uh, keep trying to Killer Bees. It was with RZA, Jizza. Oh, that was, a, that was a West Coast rap group. No. Remember they signed a group from the conference? Oh, I do remember. The, that was the called Killer Bees. Yeah. The nigga that jumped out the window? The one of them did, yeah. Nigga, that nigga... He cut his dick off. Dick off, the nigga. They was called, uh, <laughs> for real? Or West Coast Killer no, video. no, for real. They was, they was called West Coast Killer Bees. Yeah. yeah. Nigga jumped, cut his dick off and jumped out a window. Yeah, Wu-Tang Killer Bees is a whole other... It's a group. It's not a song. So... <sighs> yeah, we also... Yeah, protect your neck. Yeah, man. Shout, shout out to them, though. But I would say... Uh, yeah. Even Bye, Wu-Tang. Even Wu-Tang, Wu-Tang, for sure. Wu-Tang is above Offset. Yeah, Wu Tang, they, they, how much did they sell that uh, that little last album they did for? That the crazy white boy bought. Oh man! Oh, uh, like, the nigga from uh, that nigga that raised on the price of the yeah. uh, for, uh, the, uh, the Epi pins. Yeah, he sold for like some millions. They bought yeah. it for like some millions. Wait, yeah. what? It was a final album. They only made one copy, and, and the nigga it for, bought it yeah. for like a gang of millions. Do you think Migos could do that? The farmer guy. Do you think Migos could do that? No, probably. Would somebody buy Migos? One one of one album for ten million dollars, and yeah, I'm not maybe, knocking yeah, the maybe, Migos. Maybe I, I, twenty years I, I from think, now, rest like in how peace. Is. But I yeah. think them niggas is great. But I'm not. I'm not. I wouldn't put the it nostalgia. That high. The nostalgia isn't on Amigos like it is on all these other groups because they're still relevant right now. Once twenty years come down the line and this younger generation is talking about the Migos, they gonna think the you Migos think is you think thing. Migos gonna have a, a legacy like like Wu Tang? No, because Wu Tang got a big ass agent following and everything. Like they got a lot of. You think Migos gonna, gonna have a legacy like Wu Tang? Is it's that what you're saying? Thirty six. You know what I'm saying twenty years from now, you think they're gonna have a legacy like Wu Tang? We don't know what they gonna have. I'm asking you. They're I don't not. know. They not. Do they're you not. think? That's what I'm saying. Do you think? It's, I, you know, I think not. it's possible, but I don't. You know, I, they're not. I, really? It's more. It's more. Wu-Tang not a, likely to happen than it Wu-Tang is. Wu-Tang has like a cult like yeah, following, nigga. They oh, Migos, Shaolin Warriors. Yeah, like the ah, China and shit in I Japan. Don't, I don't see that happening, man. I don't see that happening. Me, I, that's my, I'm not saying you're wrong or right. It I'm saying not. I don't see it happening. 